your question to suggest that it, that is emblematic of the men and women of the Department of Homeland Security is despicable. Number I'm sorry, two, what have you done? This person works for the Department of Homeland Security. Have you fired her? employee of the Department of Homeland Security who posted these comments on October the 7th. That's not all she posted. She also posted this graphic. Now this is a fake graphic, I want to be clear, but I think we understand it. This is a paraglider, a Hamas paraglider, depicted here with a machine gun flying into Israel. She posted it under her online alias with the celebratory Free Palestine. Mr. Secretary, what, what's going on here? Is this, is this typical of, of people who work at DHS? This is an asylum and immigration officer who is posting these, frankly, pro-genocidal slogans and images on the day that Israelis are being slaughtered in their beds. What have you done about this? Four things I'd like to say to you. Number one, your question to suggest that it, that is emblematic of the men and women of the Department of Homeland Security is despicable. Number I'm sorry, two, what have you done? This person works for the Department of Homeland Security. Have you fired her? That was one of four answers. Have you fired her? One. Have you fired her? Don't come to this hearing room when Israel has been invaded and Jewish students are barricaded in libraries in this country and cannot be escorted out because they are threatened for their lives, you have employees who are celebrating genocide and you are saying it's despicable for me to ask the question? I'd like to have a, a minute to respond. You were oh, allowed to. I would, and I'm not sure I'll limit it to 60 seconds. That's fine. Number one, uh, what I found despicable is the implication uh, that uh, this language, tremendously odious, um, uh, actually it could be emblematic of the sentiments of the 260,000 men and women of the Department of Homeland Security. Number one. Number two, uh, Senator Hawley takes an adversarial approach to me in this question, and perhaps he doesn't know my own background. Perhaps he does not know that I am the child of a Holocaust survivor. Perhaps he does not know that my mother lost almost all her family at the hands of the Nazis. And so I find his adversarial tone to be entirely misplaced. I find it to be disrespectful of me and my heritage. And I do not expect an apology, but I did want to say what I just articulated. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, can, can I just respond since he has referenced me personally? Senator Hawley, we need to move on. Senator uh, Romney, you're uh, recognized for your questions.